we get older, our risk of hearing loss increases. Nearly half of those over the age of 75 have difficulty hearing. But a growing number of youngsters are now experiencing hearing loss. And joining us to share these findings and ways to be proactive about protecting your hearing is Dr. David Illich, Chief Audiologist with Palomar Health. Welcome. Thank you so much. Doctor, why is hearing screening and early intervention so important? Hearing loss is called the invisible handicap because you can't see if a person has a hearing loss. Now, if you have a visual loss or a dexterity loss, people can see it and you get sympathy. People with hearing loss gets no sympathy. Hearing loss is very common. It's the third most common chronic disability for Americans over age 50. One in three Americans over age 60 have some degree of hearing loss. Age-related hearing loss is slow and progressive. It takes decades. So the person quite often doesn't know they have a hearing loss. They'll say, I hear fine. It's just that people mumble. Getting a baseline hearing test through your physician is critical in reducing auditory deprivation. Tell us about these new findings linking hearing loss to cognitive decline and dementia. More research has come out in the last 30 years. A lot of the studies are coming out of John Hopkins back east. There's 12 modifiable risks to preventing or reducing uh, cognitive decline. 60% of all cognitive decline and dementia is genetic. And so there's nothing that we can do about it. But 40% can be prevented or greatly reduced. Treating a person's hearing loss is by far the number one uh, remedy for reducing and preventing cognitive decline. It's critical for the brain to hear natural sounds and speech clearly. Now, the longer a person waits with untreated hearing loss, the less the success with a hearing device. And why is hearing loss twice as common for people with diabetes? Now, the outer and middle ear have recurrent ear infections due to high blood pressure, high blood sugar, is a hallmark of uncontrolled diabetes. When you have diabetes, you have significant less ability to resist infections. On the inside, that's where the real trouble occurs with the cochlea for hearing and the vestibulars for balance and then the nerves and the auditory cortex. The smallest blood vessels and nerves in the entire body are in the inner ear. These blood vessels swell and burst. This causes a very distorted and delayed response going to the brain. Now, early detection and intervention can be life-changing. What tools and treatments are most effective? The most effective is to get a good baseline at age 50. The Welcome to Medicare Act says it very clearly. To be accepted for the benefits of Medicare, you should have a hearing screening. Hearing loss begins in our 20s and 30s. We all lose 1%, 2% per year. The individual with the hearing loss does not believe they have a hearing loss. They claim that their family mumbles, they can't hear clearly in uh, restaurants and parties, but their hearing is fine. Obviously, getting a hearing device is very, very important because you want to keep the auditory cortex to remembering how to hear sounds naturally, how to hear speech clearly. Uh, the longer a person goes, the more difficult the fitting and the evaluation. The Journal of Pediatrics is reporting that 12% of youth are now experiencing hearing loss, but this type of loss can be preventable. The American Medical Association says that the fastest growing medical epidemic in the United States of America at this time is permanent centrineural hearing loss for ages 19 years old and younger. Part of the reason is the proximity of the speakers. Now, back in the old days, they had the boom boxes with the speakers out here. Where are the speakers now? Deep insert headsets. Also, you'd have to change your CD. Now, it's 24-7. So the two most critical elements in reducing it is keep it at a moderate level, no more than 60% up. And don't listen to anything for longer than 60 minutes without a five minute break. Let the auditory system rest. Now, May is Better Hearing and Speech Month. What do you want to tell our viewers about the importance of hearing, connection, and their impact on our daily lives? Socrates said the ear is the organ of education. As we slowly lose our hearing, we very comfortably give up something we love every six months. You might not want to go to church as often because you can't hear the people in the uh, foyer. You might not want to go to a restaurant office with your friends. Real slowly, you basically put bricks on the wall. Get a hearing test. Or get a baseline when your hearing is good. We see people who come in who say they have no hearing loss, and by the time we finish, they realize how much energy, fatigue, concentration, loss of quality of life that they have gone through. I tell people every day, Name me one thing, just one thing more important to communicate with our family and our friends, your car, your jewelry. There's nothing more important intellectually 
cognitively, socially, than communicating. We see people who just say comfortably, I don't go to restaurants, I don't talk to very many people, and I'm comfortable that way. Once we get them back into where they're intellectually communicating, it's like giving their life back to them. Healthy hearing can lead to healthy living and help you live life to the fullest. For more information, visit palomarhealth.org. We'll see you next time.